Hi everyone, I'm Alison Rowley, Digital Editor at Creative Head Magazine, and today I'm going to be talking to another one of our My Trend Vision Spotlight competitors, Maxine MacArthur. Now, Maxine works at MW Education, and today she's also going to be joined by Darren and Stuart. They will be talking about the impact that Trend Vision has upon the business as a whole, and also, of course, what it means to have Maxine as a finalist. And Maxine will be sharing a little more insight into her journey so far, and of course, her preparation for the final. Let's catch up with them now. Maxine, how has your preparation been going? Well, the preparation's been going great, to be honest. Um, all organised with the model, colour art, car, it's looking very fierce. The emphasis is myself, it's looking good. In terms of helping Maxine with the prep, how did you guys in the salon get involved? Were you there at sort of model sourcing? Have you been on set with her when she's shooting? Because I know I think today was shoot day. Mm -hmm. yeah, it's been a great, great day. In fact, good inspiration throughout the whole team, really, Darren, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. 100%. Trying to get involved as much as possible. So any resources that Maxine needs, we're trying to fulfil. When it comes to models and uh, any products, equipment, whatever we can help with. Yeah, that'd be amazing. Great. And you mentioned product there, Maxine. <laughs> what um, hero products would you say helped shape your final look? Oh, it's got to be Illumina Colour all the way. Um, Illumina Colour and um, Sebastian Style range. Everything, honestly. Um, so, yeah, the sheer soft tonal quality of Illumina and the texture and kind of like moisture range you get to Sebastian. So it just gives you a really, really lovely polished look on your colour. Yeah. Brilliant. Now, you have finalised at TVA before but this yeah. year has been a very different year in terms of the journey that you must have taken through the competition. Um, in yeah. such a different and difficult year, what kind of things did you think that you've, you've picked up on to sort of gain appreciation of or that the year has taught you competing in this different way? Um, it's been very different in comparison to the previous time I entered. Um, I definitely missed the kind of more social aspect of it um, when it comes to the event, seeing the judges, um, trying to gauge a reaction, um, also looking to see what everyone else is doing because it's really nice to see everyone else's interpretations of their version of a trend. Um, it has kind of challenged me in a way because I'm not the greatest when it comes to um, editing and I'm not very technology savvy, unfortunately. Um, however, it's kind of pushed me out of my comfort zone. It kind of forced me to kind of look at things in a different way and, and embrace the new, the new normal. It's kind of vision. It's, been, it's actually been really good. I really enjoyed it, mm. considering, yeah. And I'm guessing it also, in the time where we were forced out of salons with shutdowns, it was sort of keeping that little creative fire going as well a bit. Definitely, definitely. So things like dog's heads and making loads of mood boards, keeping visual. Um, but then at the same time, the, the dog's heads came in handy for keeping practical at the same time, learning the techniques, mapping things out and make sure things are prepped properly. Yeah. Um, Darren and Stuart, in a normal year, do you find that the competition and sort of the build up with people entering helps bring new ideas into the salon in, in a certain way? Yeah, definitely. I think the uh, council creativity between the staff and getting involved in it is a really good thing. Yeah, definitely. Because obviously as being hairdressers, we, we're naturally creative anyway and we want to create new things, but the competition that adds drive to that cocktail and really pushes the, the team to to move forward and try new things. So it's it's you know an important part of some of life. And I guess that sort of conveys as well on the client side as well. They see sort of these creative ideas coming to they see like the uh, the finalist trophy uh, that Maxine I'm sure put up pride of place in salon um, of do you think that <laughs> the prestige of the competition in that way sort of the visible parts of it um, and people finalizing in sort of color categories helps elevate the status of the salon and sort of being part of this elite group of people who are finalized in Weller Trend Vision yeah without doubt without doubt um, we find that just by talking about the competition, never mind the having a trophy in the salon, really helps. And the, the passion is, it, it feeds all, all the clients. It's, it's quite contagious passion. So when people start buzzing and talking about it, they start talking to their friends about it, and it just leads on to getting busier and busier, and more people want to come and visit us. Brilliant. 
Brilliant. Um, you mentioned you were on set with Maxine today. Um, generally, is that, is that kind of the thing that you do to support any of the people within the salon who enter Trend Vision? Are you there from the very first moment they say, actually, I'm thinking of entering? Or are you the people there going, you have a great chance, you should be entering? Yeah, I think, I think the lights are really, really help. And, but to a certain degree that we're still letting them have their own creativity. Yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a difficult balance, you know, maybe trying to push people as much more, our stuff and stuff and stuff as much as possible without taking over. So we, we have the resources um, to do photo shoots, to be creative, and we really want people to push themselves, but we need to hold back enough to let them be themselves without us taking over. So yeah, it's a difficult balance. Yeah. Um, Maxine, whether there's another trophy at the end of this year's journey, do you, <laughs> do you think you'll be entering next year? Is that sort of the cogs turning in your brain already, thinking that hopefully, fingers crossed, we might be back to the normal buzz and spectacle of Trend Vision? But is, is that idea planted there, like, yep, yeah, next year, I'm going to try again as well? Oh, definitely. Regardless of whether there is a trophy at the end of this year or not, um, for me, it's the entire journey and the public experience that trend, the Trend Vision Awards bring. Um, it's just, it's mind blowing that just the thought process behind it and the kind of planning. And it would, uh, it would be really, really good um, if someone came out with it. If not, then I'd definitely go for it next year. I mean, the experience itself is amazing, and I do look forward to hopefully seeing a, some sort of live event at the end of it. Fingers crossed. Um, and Stuart, Darren, do you think that you're, you're already planning into sort of 2021 that you'll have more people? Obviously, Maxine is going to be uh, trying her luck again, but is, is the plan to get more staff to enter in 2021 as well? Definitely, 100%. The wheels are already in motion. <laughs> and finally, do you have a message for Maxine as she uh, sort of enters this very final stage of the 2020 competition? Yeah, we wish you the greatest luck. Definitely. And then just, just be yourself, just do what you do. And either way, there's a, there's a domino's in it for you. <laughs> <laughs>